Konnichiwa, Sof Senpai. This is Miyuki. Thank you for clicking this video. So today we're going to Koko Ichiban Kare. It's a very famous franchise restaurant in Japan. I think they have one overseas, like in Hawaii or Thailand. I'm very excited because Japanese curry is one of my favorite dish, and you can see this restaurant everywhere. I think they have over a thousand uh, restaurants in Japan here. Let's go! I'm excited. You can basically customize everything from the spice, the volume of rice, and all the toppings that you'd like to add. It's all customizable. I think I'm gonna try the most popular variation in Japan, which is the uh, Hatsukare. It's basically a uh, Japanese curry rice with tonkatsu, which is a uh, what's that? Pork cutlet. We're gonna try that. No hatsukare. Aside from curry, the salads are also something I enjoy. As you can see, the variety and quality of the curry is fantastic. You can never get bored with their menu, which is why I love it, and this is my go to restaurant. Japanese curry is a, one of the most famous comfort food in Japan that you can see a lot. Even at home, people would actually um, cook this dish. For some single people out there, um, they cook it a lot, like in a batch, in like a big pot. What I love about curry is you can actually be creative with it. Instead of rice, you can use um, udon noodles and put that, mix it with the curry roux. Because it's very creamy, the texture is a lot different from the Indian curry. It's actually from Indian curry, but it has been adapted to um, Japanese taste, and it's a lot um, sweeter, I think. <coughs> it's basically um, milder. We eat this with um, the curry. It's called fujinzuke. It's a slightly sweet mix of pickles. We're gonna try this pickles now. Mm. For toppings, I add this natto. It's a fermented bean. This is really good. As you can see, the texture is more, it's creamier compared to Indian curry. It's like beef stew. The standard Japanese curry is basically a spicy roux with meat and vegetables. So I don't really like spicy food and I love that you can customize everything from the spice. I'm just gonna use it so I don't mess up with my clothes. Alright, alright, we're trying to be fancy here. And by the way, katsukare is like my good luck food. So every time I have like a big presentation or like something very important that day, I usually eat Katsukare because katsu means winning. I don't know if you have that kind of food in your country, but in Japan it's pretty common to have katsukare on those days. Let's say I have a very important meeting or I need to do something good on a specific day, I will eat katsukare for that. This is what I usually get. Every time I eat here, and I sometimes add natto and cheese for the toppings. Thank 
you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you love it. What do you think about Japanese curry? Have you tried it? Let me know down below the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. I post videos every single week. There are so many cars. I'm going back. I'm melting. See you, Nara. Bye.